Design thinking is all about understanding the problem and building up empathy with the end users and the customers. It's important to spend enough time in this step and don't go over it too quickly because it will lead to better results in the end. Take your time to build up contacts with users or stakeholders so you can talk to them regularly if you want some feedback. In this phase we have two different steps. The first step is about understanding the problem more, getting some more knowledge and this is often also called empathy. The second step is selecting the right sub-challenge, and this is often called define. And when we try to get enough knowledge and understanding about a problem, this happens on different levels. The first level is that you of course need to understand your customer. You need to understand their needs, their wishes and their ambitions. You can do this in two ways. You can start by observing people and you can also talk to people. If you're observing, then you're really acting as a fly on the wall and you are watching them interact like they would normally do. This is important because in many cases, your users are not aware of what they exactly need, what their wishes are and what their ambitions are. Being uh, an observer will really help you to watch what they really need. You can also talk to people and ask them questions. In this way, you have a much more direct interaction with them. Keep in mind that the way you pose the questions and the order in which you pose them can be of influence. Try to avoid asking biasing questions. Um, ask for concrete information and keep in mind that people will always try to give you the right answer. The second part is that you also need to understand the context. It's not only about the people. There might be rules, procedures or laws that you have to check. There might be some trends that can be of a benefit to you, but can also be a constraint. What is the economical climate? What is the political climate? And are there any competitors or other players in the field? You can get this information by doing some desk research or talking to experts in the field. And of course, you also need to understand the business you are operating in. This is about your own business model. You need to understand why it is working. Because maybe you were lucky that you immediately found the right business model, but you might not be clear why it is working. This is something you need to find out. You also need to understand other business models of competitors. If you understand why these are working, this is an advantage to use in your own business model. We discussed the knowledge or the empathy part. Now we will talk a bit about selecting the right sub-challenge or define. When you were looking into the problem, you probably saw different sub-challenges arising. This is normal and this is also very okay, but in order to continue to the next steps, you have to select one sub-challenge to continue working on. So if you spend enough time in this phase, if you understand the problem very well, and if you selected the right sub-challenge to work on, then you're ready for the next phase.